Hello and welcome back to my channel where I talk about reading, writing, note-taking, knowledge management, and my academic career. Today though, I'm actually going to be talking about my mom's academic career. You might remember my mom from previous videos when we tried to set her up with a physical Tettelkasten. She has tried um, obsidian Tettelkasten and a physical Tettelkasten and neither of these methods were really working for her. So this past weekend I went to visit her and we sat down and I actually went into her obsidian to take a look at some of the notes that she had made and see if if I could diagnose the problem, why this method was not sticking for her in this software. And I think we got her to a pretty good place, so I wanted to share with you a little snippet of that coaching session. We went through a couple of her permanent notes, um, retitling them and reformatting them and creating new links and separating them out where necessary for atomicity. Um, so I think that you might find this really helpful. And then we also set her up with a couple folders that she might find useful because she was recently accepted into a PhD program. So um, figuring out this Tettelkasten in Obsidian situation has become more pressing for her. So that's what you're about to see. This is just a segment of a longer session that we did, but hopefully you find this portion useful. I'm going to send you right over to that video. Enjoy. All right, so I wanted to zone in on this note in particular because of the, the title um, and the contents. I think this is expressing a single solid idea, which is great because that's the core of a Tzedelkasten, right? Is to have um, atomic notes that each express a single one of your ideas. However, we want this note to be as searchable as possible for you in the future, because yeah. this this is uh, coming from the source of Barbara Kingsolver's book, The Lacuna. Is that how you pronounce it? I read it, didn't okay. hear it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in, in a couple years, you're not going to remember having even read this book. And mm -hmm. so we need to make sure you can find this note again, even though you have forgotten you even read the book. Right now, the title is Final Take on His Mother. And if I just saw that in a list of, of other note names, I would be like, whose mother? What final take? How is this possibly relevant to anything I am doing ever? I would have no idea, right? Yeah. And eventually, your system is going to have hundreds or thousands of notes. And so this is a, a useless title. You would literally have to open the note in order to see it. And you'd have to read the entire note to know what it was about. So we want to correct that so you immediately know what the note is about. Okay. You've already linked in here to Barbara Kingsolver's book, mm -hmm. so that's great. You know that you need to connect between things. But let's see if we can figure out what this note is about, because I always name my notes after the core idea, so, or the thesis of the note. So let's take a read here. The first sentence says, the relationships in this book are so beautifully described, the protagonist sees so acutely the people around him and his place in their lives. To me, that reads like a comment on the book as a whole, not on this particular idea you're about to express. I think I had started trying to write notes about the book and then was like, these need to be atomic. So I cut it up. Okay. So, so this is like a reflection on how the book was written. Yeah. So I'm actually going to copy that, cut it from this note and put it in the book itself. And maybe the idea that the protagonist sees so acutely the people around him is going to be relevant to his final take on his mother, but it's going to be more specific than that. So his final take on his mother's life and death keenly describes how we women can shine so brightly, but be used, marginalized, and simply forgotten. She wasn't a great mother, but loved him in her way, and he loved her, though he could never live with her. And then we have a quote that is articulating this idea, um, which the quote is kind of saying that she was living in smaller and smaller spaces. She was almost like disappearing mm -hmm. as, a, as a person. And it ends with like, if she had lived long enough, would she have resided in a teacup? So is this, um, is this a quote about aging women? Yeah, the um, women's worth diminishing as they age. Okay, we're going to document these ideas as we're having them. So write down women's worth diminishing as they age. Is, is that the whole idea? The fact that uh, women's, women's worth diminishes? I think it was also that like her worth was only seen as, um, like as a woman, her worth was only seen as the way she could entertain, entertain men. Okay. 
maybe write that down as well. And so this is making more sense to me now because as they age, maybe they are less beautiful, um, less, less easy to look at or use or like serve. Less sexy, less all of that. Right. You can't show them off as much. Okay. They just become people as opposed to so trophies. It's possible that we have two ideas emerging here then. One is maybe the idea that women's worth diminishes as they age. Um, and maybe the other idea is that women's worth is tied to their ability to entertain or please men. Um, Although the first one is the sort of conditional on the second. Mm -hmm. But could there be other conditionals? Like, for instance... Oh, right, because like, after then they're done having babies and they're... So right, on. so right. there might be more more times I want to link to specifically women's worth diminishing and to other times I want to specifically mention that women's worth is tied to entertaining men. So it's possible we want two notes here. So one of them is going to be diminishing with age, and I think it's this one. Right. Uh, I think this quote is... Well, this quote could be even more specific, right? Because he's talking about uh, taking up space, uh, like the disappearance of women, mm -hmm. not just their worth, but their sort of existence is diminishing. This is this is a, the wacky thing about Tuttlecaston is we started with one idea, which is just a quote, and now we're about to have three, three ideas off of it. And each of those three ideas are, are directly related to each other in some way. They're interconnected. So like women are expected to take up less space as they age would be the third one. I think that's a beautiful idea. You're going to use more than once. So that might be the title of this note. So... Um, Note, note names in your Obsidian are also file names, markdown file names on your computer. So, you know, you can format them however you like, um, as long as they, they follow typical file naming Just conventions. Name. You said names are typed name. Women are expected to take up less space as they age. Great. You're probably going to want to describe what is happening in King Solver's book, right? We could even open with that. So how I would do this uh, is... In this clip, I'm just pulling that quote that so accurately describes the idea that women are expected to take up less space as they age to the top of the note. And then I'm going to write before the quote in my own words so that I understand the context of this quote. So I write in the novel and then I link to the source note for the novel. The main character reflects on his mother's life as represented by her personal affects after her death, saying, and then I put the quote. So now I know exactly where this quote came from and um, what, what was happening in the book at the time. And then under that, we're going to explain um, the idea that we're, try we're trying to express because we don't want to just put somebody else's words right. in an idea. These are our ideas. Um, so what is your idea that you're having based on this quote? And this quote might be in five different notes and you're going to have different ideas on it every single time so you can you can repeat that quote other places and have new ideas based on this single thought in king solver's book in this clip we're just fleshing out the second paragraph of this note where we explain why we wanted to cite this quote and so we're saying that um, his final take on his mother's life and death describes how women can shine brightly but and then we're actually going to write in the other idea that we had that is relevant to this note, but is strong enough to be its own atomic idea, which is that women's worth diminishes in society as they age. And you'll see that we've written the note title in a way that encapsulates the thesis of that note, but also works to be written into a sentence. So women's worth diminishes in society as they age because, and then here's the other idea that spawned off of this main idea, women's worth is tied to their ability to serve men. And again, we've created that link to a new note that is going to express that relevant but different idea. And then we've left the final bit here about how they're used, marginalized, and simply forgotten because it is so relevant to that original quote. That's why they are taking up less space. So now we've explained this quote using two other links, two ideas, that are going to be useful in other ways in our subtle casting system. Uh, and then we finish with, she wasn't a great mother, but loved him in her way, and he loved her, though he could never live with her. Do you think that is serving this idea that women are expected to take up No, space? that was like more part of how I understood the book in general. This note, this source note, doesn't have to make sense. 
It can just be ideas that you had in the book and eventually those ideas will find a place. Now, the last thing that I want to do, so this note has been cleaned up right now, maybe it expresses closer to a single idea. And this note can develop over time. When we say it's a permanent note in the Tettelkasten, that doesn't mean it can never change again. It just means that you're not gonna delete it. It's gonna be there forever, but it might keep developing. You can okay. add things to this. Maybe you read another book that expresses the idea that women are expected to take up less space as they age. And so you're gonna add another quote in here. Um, yeah, and, and maybe you've got other tags. So for instance, um, it, uh, is, or is like um, women's worth an idea that is going to be prevalent throughout your subtle casting dis distinct potentially from the idea that it diminishes as they age. So maybe you want to have, sometimes at the bottom of a note, I'll write tags if it doesn't fit into the actual writing of the note. And then I would add like oh, women's worth is something this note discusses so that I can remember in the future that this note has to do with women's worth. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and so I'm gonna click into women's worth and I, of course, women are expected to take up less space as they age, that has to do with women's worth, but so does the one that we just wrote about women's worth diminishing in society. Okay. And also, so does, you know, women being expected to take up less space as they age. So I, I'm just gonna like stick them in there or I could have done the opposite and go into these notes and stick women's worth in there just so that Whenever I go to either of those notes, there's a backlink or a direct link so that I can find these things again. Good. So then later if I'm writing, I'd look here and I'd be like, oh, I've got this on women's worth and I wonder what else it's connected to kind of thing. Totally. Yeah. Now, if you're in the W section of okay. your, your subtle cast in, uh, because it's alphabetical on the left side of Obsidian, you can see everything to do with women. All right. of the notes about women that start with the word women are is going to be right there. So if I had on about like women choosing to not have children. Right. And, and maybe it's going to connect to women's worth and their ability to serve men. Because if they can't have children, they're less able to serve men. And so you're going to link to that note. And okay. you remember it's there because it's tied to the idea of, of women's worth. And women women's worth is related to having babies. And then you go into the women's worth note and you see, oh, they, they, it's their ability to serve men. I forgot I even wrote that. I've got to tie that in there as well. And so that's how you're developing the knowledge kind of network okay. as you go. Cool. There we go. That was me helping my mom uh, reformat this individual note. And you can kind of see all of the thinking that goes into the writing of a single atomic note in your Tettelkasten. You don't have to do all of that work every single time you make a note. You can always come back to notes. As long as a note is there, there's a chance you'll find it again. But if you format it well for your brain and you link it to other things, including some kind of source, then you're much more likely to find this note again. As we were going through the various notes that my mom had already made, she kind of didn't remember taking any of them, and that's because she was doing this like two or three years ago. So I think there's a big importance of sticking with a system and working in that system regularly. You're going to remember a lot more of what you know. You can also get various plugins for Obsidian. Maybe you use tags that are going to help you find these things again. There's a random note plugin, so maybe every day you just want to click the random note plugin and it'll surface a random note and you can remember what you have previously known and uh, know it again anew. Um, but definitely creating connections and creating notes that are atomic, that express a single idea, is I think the very core of this system and what really helps me keep my knowledge in my brain um, supported by Obsidian. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more content like this, this kind of coaching content, and I'll try to make more of it. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video again soon. Bye, everybody.